now set for bout number two this evening, our second preliminary fight at 75 kilograms, 165 pounds. Gabriele Chero of Italy versus Fernando Moreno Paz of Spain. Boss, time now for the numbers. Yeah, Gabriel Sierra from Italy, he doesn't like to load up for a knockout, has a lot of speed and great timing. He likes to make adjustments while the fight progresses. Now, Fernando Moreno, his opponent, is a switch hitter. A switch hitter meaning he can fight equally left leg dominant or right leg dominant. He feels that he's faster than his opponent and has a higher desire to win. Loves to take his opponent down as well and land some strikes. In the red corner, from Italy, Gabriele Cero. In the blue corner, from Spain, Fernando Moreno Paz. Fighters, if you would, enter the pit. Fighters, enter the pit. Round one, fight! Ready? Fight! Round number one, a sporting touch of gloves, and we are underway. Red glove tape for the Italian Chero. Blue glove tape for the one, Spaniard Moreno two, Paz. Three, four, five, stop! Heard the five second count from a referee, Wayne Spinola. Two outstanding referees on this card, signed by the ISKA. Very traditional striking stance in karate and the switch of stances. You saw that there, boss from Chero. Yeah, and he, he went there for that low kick to the cab, but right away his opponent took that leg and brought him to the ground. Paz told us, I want to keep moving from the mid range to the inside, back and forth, back and forth, never to the outside, and keep pushing the pace on Chero. Hands very high and tight for Fernando Moreno Paz. There's the level change from Chero. Nicely done. Stand up from Spinola. Fights do move in the karate combat pit. Both standing still, they're both looking. It looks like they're both counter fighters. They're waiting for the opponent to attack. The red foot from Chira is on the back of the wall sometimes. He did it already before. He wants to propel himself forward. Use it to his advantage. Chero really prides himself on being a true martial artist. He said, I have no set game plan. I flow, I read and react. And that's what he nicely did there. He ducked underneath the Mawashi Tsuki. That's a hook to his head. Oh, nice blitz there. Came fast forward with a cross hook. He likes the clinch. Right hand landed from Paz. Chero back to the inside. There's the break from Spinola. See that very traditional stance from Paz moving forward. 65 seconds remaining round one. I would one. like to uh, throw some baits out, you know, some feints, some movements. So up and changing levels. Low on the inside kick yeah. from Paz. Yeah, like takedown. Big takedown indeed. Oh, nice up kick there. I love it. Gorgeous up kick indeed yes. from Chero. Now 40 seconds remaining round number one. Paz continuing to walk forward. We'll see if Chero tries to use the pit wall in a position to do so as Spinola calls for action. He needs to move or at least get out of that corner. Going for a single leg. And he hits it beautifully. It. But his opponent keeps holding him. So it's hard to strike, although he got a few in there. Big shots from Chero. Chero stepping in, lands the left hand. Swinging momentum in the closing stages of this opening round. Back and forth, and back to the center of the pit. That's the end of round one. Absolutely stunning look. 
One World Trade Center. We're on the 102nd floor at the observatory, the top of this spectacular structure. Lower Manhattan on a gorgeous early fall evening. Boss, that's the view from the helicopter. Essentially, that's the same height that when we look out the window. You know, a wingsuit, and I will jump out of the window <laughs> here. I always wanted to try that. Oh, nice. Inside leg sweep there. But look at that beautiful takedown by Paz. And again, shoot for that. Bit. There we got another takedown on a single leg. Beautifully done. Jero landing go, some go. strikes. Seconds out called. Headed to round number two of this bout at 75 kilograms, 165 pounds. Touch of gloves, right back to it. Both fighters, hands high and tight. You see the low kick from Chero. That's what I like, a little bit more of that. I think they need to do Changing levels, you know, throw some baits out. Let the opponent react and then capitalize on the mistakes they make. Oh, that connected with a big shot. For the level change, and there is the takedown. Yeah. Immediately in the side control. Nice job by Chiro, but he couldn't do anything with it, unfortunately for him. Chiro definitely, boss, seems to have seized the momentum in this fight. Yeah, he's a little wild, wilder with his shots, right? With the hooks, the Moashitsukis. He's very open. He has to watch out that he doesn't get hit with straight shots down to the middle. I said I want a quote unquote straight on fight. He said I can finish this fight with one punch. I need to land my right hand. Right now playing a lot of defense. And that's a big right hand and then the left on the ground and pound from Gabriel Echero. Echero starting to figure out the takedowns in the ground and pound. Yeah, he's looking for those uh, moments when his opponent Paz is planting his feet in order to throw a power shot. But it's hard because both, like I said in round number one, they're counter fighters, you can see, because that's why they stand still. They wait for the opponent to throw something and they want to counter that. But since both of them have the same fighting style, you know, they're not really attacking. And that's why you get the warning every time for more rest. Paz has him in the corner now, he must drive through. Got him locked up. He lets him go. 65 seconds remaining round two. Back to the center of the pit, exactly where Fernando Moreno Paz said he wants this fight. Yeah, Paz thinks if I'm coming in too hard, he's gonna take me down again. Because he's waiting for that moment. But still, you know, go for lower shots. My gear is front kicks to the body. You know, trip the leg on the bottom, sweep. Hitting low. You know, go for body shots, straight to the body. Makes it very hard for your opponent to close the distance. Oz playing with dropping his left hand, trying to bait in Gabriel Echero. See the low left hand now bringing it up. Moves with the hip. Again, I'm talking about it the whole time. Feints, throw something out. Read the reaction of your opponent. Act like you're gonna kick, see what he does, then do it for real, you know? You gotta something, do something. Let's make lemonade, right? <laughs> that dramatic music is a lot more effective, I think, than the clack, clack, clack with the wood. That's the 10 second marker, and we are headed to the third and final round. Look at that, every time when he comes in, Paz comes in, he gets taken down, and I truly believe that was the reason that at the end of the round, he didn't attack anymore. He didn't want to throw power strikes because he was afraid to be taken down again, and those score all the time as well. Let's see what kind of instructions both these guys will see from the corner. And what the corner is telling them, do they tell them, hey, you're behind, you're not, you know, you're going to have to win this round in order to win the fight? Bap him up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
Head into the third and final round. This is our second and final prelim. Still seven fights on our main card headed your way live from One World Trade Center Observatory, 102nd floor here in Lower Manhattan. See the pauses again, stalking coming forward. You see Roach constantly um, grabbing the uh, zero, uh, constantly putting his back foot on the side of the wall. He wants to propel himself forward, but as soon as he does that, Paz is pulling back again. On the inside kick, range finder from Chero. It's a hard one, you gotta watch out, shin on shin. Let's go guys, Let's go fight. It's better to do it with the bottom of your foot and lower on the shin so you sweep it. Snap jab from Chero. I like that, he should do that more, you know, give it a little movement before he kicks. Boss, we're seeing a real methodical pressure now from the Spaniard pause to the inside. It's that walk down pressure. Chero looking to turn. A lot of respect for each other, these guys. For those of you joining us worldwide, this is round number three of our second bout of the night, our final prelim. Still seven fights headed your way, Karate Combat One World. Red gloves belongs to the Italian Gabriele Cero. Blue gloves to the Spaniard Fernando Moreno Paz. Fernando. That is the voice of the go. great Boss Rudin. Also with this, Phoenix Corner Valley. I'm Sean Wheelock. Gotta stop moving. Whoever picks it up here in these last 70 seconds or so might win it. Right hand angling off of the wall. Very even fight thus far. Possibly boss, round number one to pause, round number two to Chero. So, Chero, or Paz, needs to turn it up in round number three in order to take the win. That's Wayne Spinola, the referee, telling both fighters, especially Chero in that last sequence, increase your intensity. Both fighters being extremely methodical, extremely patient here. Final minute of this final round. Swing and a miss on the lead left hook from Chero. Side kick. You have a follow it up. You bring your opponent off balance, put him on, put him on one leg, drive forward. There's not a lot he can do, hopping on one leg. There's the takedown again. But this time it was almost coming from pause. Now though, looking through the throw is Chero. You can find the inside second. trip. Again, don't listen for the clack, clack, clack. Listen for that dramatic music as well. That's the 10 second mark. And that is the end of this fight. Quality from both men, and now, boss, we shall see. Yeah, it's a hard one to judge. Uh, that's why I never like to be a judge. <laughs> Our three judges are signed by the ISKA. See this phenomenal setting, this invite-only VIP crowd pushed against the pit walls. That's where we are, One World Trade Center on the 102nd floor observatory here in New York. Superman can do that every day, every single day, can just hang there. Look at this, there's the body lock, but I don't believe it worked this time. It was smart though to let the body lock go, to go from some body shots. But since they were very close, he's got a long reach. They don't have a lot of power on them because they can't travel. Oh man, this is like America's Got Talent. They wait like uh, one minute. <laughs> so, who is it going to be? Still waiting to get the official decision. Boss, you and I know in combative sports, usually if there's a delay, it means that it's not a unanimous decision. That's it, and that might mean that we go to a sudden death round. And the winner. Nope. By decision, Fernando Moreno Paz. Oh. Not sure if it's a split or unanimous, just announced a decision. But the win goes to the Spaniard, Fernando Moreno Paz. The gladiator, the Spaniard.